Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Palia. And I am so excited here today. We have a couple of quests that we need to do. Uh, what I really want to do is speak with Ref about learning how to cook. <laughs> well, hello there, Ref. How are you doing today? What's up? Hmm. Oh, hey, you're one of the newbies, right? Ah. Yes, I am one of the newbies. Name's Ref, but you can call me Trouble. <laughs> All right, Ref trouble. In addition to being bad news, I also provide Kalima with delicious soups and stews here at Ormu's Horn. Hmm. Stop by later, yeah? I'm always happy to chat with a friendly new face. Amazing. Okay, but can you teach me to cook? I've heard such amazing things about your food. <laughs> whoa there, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're a human. Yeah, I am a human. <laughs> Last I checked. Why don't you start by making a campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated hmm. stuff. Oh, and if you don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor. But hey, I won't judge either way. I got my hands full right now. That you do, that you do. Yeah, so interesting. This is a lovely... Well, let's check out the map here real quick. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. So many things happening around here. <laughs> Hello, Ish. How are you doing this fine day? A magistrate is always at the service of her people. Another human. This village is practically becoming overrun. I'm sure you want to talk to me about securing a housing permit. Oh, well, yes, I'd rather not live in a tent uh, for a while. <laughs> well, it's nice you want these things. I want the crown jewels of a Quindu, but you don't see me prancing around in a tiara. If you need someone to hold your hand, talk to my dim-witted husband. Please, only disturb me if you have important matters to discuss. I'm busy. Figure it out on your own. <laughs> Obviously, you're a very busy woman, for sure. Um, I'll leave you be. <laughs> I don't think I've been down here before. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. You got some animals. Hello, Hexla. How are you, Hexla? Hello, human. Hello, human. I had an inkling you would come see me. Really, did you? <laughs> Unlike other Gaudlers, I have no memories of what this place was like before due to the thousands of years I spent in excess item storage. That's fair. I suppose I will have to use my imagination. Perhaps this area was once a great factory devoted to the production of shiny pebbles. What do you think? I think this was a great palace. A palace for who? Why would humans need a ruler when they had Galdars to make decisions for them? My and that is where we are different. <laughs> Alright, very good. And Gina's over here, so let's go ahead and ask her about this strange artifact while we're over here. Need any help? <laughs> yes! Gina, I do need a little bit of help. Hey Sassy, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in alright? Actually, I did find something you might be interested in. Really? What is it? Oh wow, I can't believe it! This thing's an ancient flow battery! These were the power sources for the ancient humans! I've been looking all over for something like this. Well, I guess you never expected that I'd find it up in my little old plot of land then, huh? <laughs> huh? And you say you just found this under some old junk? It must be fate! I'm not really a believer in fate, per se, but this is some coincidence, <laughs> but for sure. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does, but I'll send you a letter once I know something. All right, that sounds great, Gina. Thank you so much. Oh, it's late. Time flies with you around. That is true. It does. <laughs> now, what did I want to do next? Oh, right. I wanted to learn gardening. That means I need to find Baru. Why, hello there. Ah. Why, hello there, Badru. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, if it isn't another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Badru, the farmer, and I sense we have some good times ahead. <laughs> oh, Badru, you're so funny. <laughs> huh? 
Did I mention that in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? You are hilarious. Oh my gosh, Pedro, you could totally take the stage. By the way, can you teach me to garden? Uh. Yes, you've come to the right place if you care it about fresh quality produce. <laughs> yeah, those jokes are so they're so good, Pedro. They're so good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. Aw, I'm sure you're doing the best you can there, Badru. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Farm life's great, especially if you love the smell of ormu manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Ah, uh, you sure... <laughs> you sure got me with that one, Badru. Um... I will prefer to stay away from tasting any sort of manure, uh, but you do you. I'll tell you what, meet me on your plot later and I'll walk you through the steps. Whoa. Looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house. Ah, oh, excellent, Badru. Thank you so much. I appreciate See you. See you later, hot potato. After a while, turn up sile. <laughs> <laughs> well, while I'm here, hello. Hi, Hasian. How are you doing today? Oh, hello, Tao. Aren't you just adorable? Yes, yes, you are. Oh, are you sleepy? Yeah, you're you're, you're good, Tao. You're good, Tao. <laughs> I have met Tao. All right. Hassan, hello, I got your letter. Getting ready for a big adventure? You know, howdy, Sifu. Um, I'm actually looking to speak with your son, so if you'll excuse me. Oh, I'm starved. I bet you are. Now, you've done everything you can to get away from chatting with me, Hassan. Your turn. Just be quick about it. Sassy, I presume. Yeah, Hassan, I've heard a little bit about you. Uh. Don't act stunned that I know your name. I know everything that goes on in this village, including when someone new arrives. Mm. My name is Hasian, and I'm in charge of maintaining the natural order of the woods that surround the village. And I bet, my dear sir, that you do a fantastic job. Be good to the valley, and we will have no quarrel. I am essentially a wood nymph. Your valley is safe for me. Uh. Use nature poorly, and you'll find how to, I know to get rid of this village of all sorts of pests. Yeah, that's a not very well-veiled threat here, huh, Sam? But it's okay. I like the cut of your jib. I got what? your letter. What? Oh, those pre-written letters, City Hall, maybe sign. Mm. My mother's a town blacksmith. A simple bow like that is an easy huh. supply. It takes years to learn proper hunting. Start by aiming that bow at something, like those chapas or a cernic. Maybe you will even manage to hit your target. <laughs> You're so funny. I like you, Hacien. Back to my business. Exactly. And back to mine. <laughs> oh, Kenley! Why, hello! Oh, goody. Someone to chat with. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Sassy Rogue. Greetings. I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari. The firstborn son of the late Kenjin Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari mm. Province, and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari Province. Mm -hmm. I am mayor of this fine village, and it is great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. Ah, it is a great pleasure and honor for me to materialize here and join you here in Kalima. I wanted to ask you about getting a house. I... A house? And you're, er, you're asking me? Well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? <laughs> oh, Kenley, you are hysterical. I want to build my own. Mm. Oh, right, yes, of course. Because you have just moved in. The, er, uh, plot didn't come with one? No, I have a tent. Mm. No matter. I'm sure I have all the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. <laughs> oh, no. Where is it? Hmm, you didn't lose it, did you? I shall tell you what. Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'll be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I, er, um, locate those forms. 
Okay, Kenley, I will let you off the hook this time, but next time, I won't be so easy My on you. My door is always open. During business hours, of course. Of course. Only during business hours. <laughs> on the way back home here, we have a campfire to meet, and we need to hunt a Chapa. Or Chapa. And a Cernic. Home sweet home. Oh, and I have someone to welcome me. Hello, Badru. How are your crops doing? I have none yet, but you're here to uh, fix that for me, hopefully. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. This place is already starting to look different. Yeah, I have a tent. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That is some work ethic. Ah, thank you. I like making the place feel a little homey. <laughs> just the right answer. I'm sure you're going to fit in here just fine. I think I will, too. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you've got patience, I've got the solution to your woes. Gardening! All you have to do is wait a few sun cycles and voila! Dinner. Or breakfast. Even lunch if the mood strikes you. Mm. I know, I know, I know. It doesn't sound exciting, but trust me. Nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. Oh, I trust you, Pedro. Homegrown vegetables are the most amazing delights ever. There is something to be said about growing a salad in your backyard and picking everything yourself and not having to pay a single cent. I've got all the tools you need right here, too. Go on. Why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till? Let's all right, make, so I will. Let's make like bananas and peel out. <laughs> but you're, you're so funny. <laughs> peel out. <sighs> let's put you in the back of the house. Nice, gorgeous. Ooh, what is this? Interesting. This is kind of awkward. Ah! First tilling discovery! How cool is that? Neat! Okay, so this is... I see what's happening here. I have to, to unearth it, and it takes a few tries. Okay, this isn't so bad. I am going to be a gardening queen in no time at all. I am working at night, tailing the ground, working till I find some cool stuff. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, something else. There's some fun stuff in here. Rare forage? Ooh. That is cool. I hope I can plant them, maybe. Okay, so this one's all tilled. Oh, I need seeds, right? Oh, I see. So I will get the seeds. I just need to continue tilling. Perfect! Okay, so I need to return. Badru! I have everything tilled now! What do I do nice next? Nice of you to turn if! <laughs> oh, Badru! <laughs> you are such a dad. <laughs> you might be wondering what to do next. Yeah, yeah, that's why I asked. What should I do next? Unfortunately, the seeds don't plant water themselves. I never expected them to, but uh. you're going to need some of these bad boys. Consider them a housewarming gift. Once your seeds are in the ground, go to that pond and fill up this here watering can and give that dirt a nice little bath. It might take a few sun cycles and a few buckets of water, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Some things you plant may have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. Ooh, really? That's good to know. I like that. If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Ziggy's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. <laughs> but you're, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> that would have been funnier if I'd given you wheat seeds. Mm, I gotta work on my material. Yeah, yeah, just keep practicing there, Badru. <laughs> Bye. Right. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Bye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. 
on, you can go in the middle. Let's put, we're gonna do it like this. Neat! <laughs> Just throw the seeds around. Okay, now we need our watering can, which is full, so let's do this. Oh, you can see the soil um, get wet. I love the sound of the water coming out of the water can. It is so calming to listen to. Uh, just a really nice compliment to watering these crops. <laughs> I'm a gardener now, yay! Excellent, you are all water now, my dears. That is beautiful. It is quite early in the morning, but that's all right. Go ahead and fill you back up so you're all ready to go. And we are going to come over here and see what it takes to cook up a campfire. Ready to craft. Oh, and I have all my things. Excellent. <laughs> we have a campfire. I'm going to place this campfire right over here. I just need to go back and get my supplies. I have to get my mushrooms because we're making grilled mushrooms tonight. All right, let's do this. Ooh, look at that. Look at me tending the fire. I am a cook now. I need to get some more recipes soon. Oh my goodness, it's done! Oh, I can't wait to try this. I do love how he just put it in my pocket, though. <laughs> he says, that's how it works. Let me just put some grilled morels in my pocket. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious, and I absolutely adore it. But let me go ahead and try this now. I want to see what food does for someone here at Palia. Ooh, nom nom nom. I am very focused now. <laughs> Increases experience gained from all sources is regenerated by you. Oh, that is so okay. That's cool. All right. Well, now that I have sustenance, I'm going to go ahead and gather a whole bunch of resources. We need stone. We need wood. Any forgeables I can find. It's been a big day. I mean, we've we've met up with Gina. She has our artifact. We met Kenley and Baru and Reth. We are focusing on our cooking and our gardening skills at the moment, and I cannot wait to see what else opens up. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and call that a day in Palia. Be sure to like, subscribe, do all the things, drop a comment, let me know who's your favorite of the Palian citizens, and why. And I will see you in the next day here on this wonderful world of Palia. Bye, everyone!